for his wickedness is going to put all the problems on you. The government is going to take the blame for you because he has paid you to do the dirty work. So when the government pay you to do the dirty work, the government is not going to hold you. Going to, the government is not going to take the responsibility for your carelessness. I see them, I watch them. I see them on television. I see them on social media. I should see them on the news media. And they are not going to take responsibility. So this is clearly evidential. I don't know if that's a word. Maybe residential. Clearly evident that we have a residential problem. A residential problem that derives from government what espionage government darkness it is clearly evident that the government he's working for the government because he is coming to my door for a census three nights in a row and he is even threatening me about the census. So that means he is working for the government. Because that census is not supposed to come under my door. There is a, 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 a mailbox downstairs for moi. Every apartment has a mailbox. That census was not supposed to be shoved under my door. That census was supposed to be in the mailbox. So, if I refuse to sign the census because I know what he wants and I will not give it to them and he is threatening me about that census, so about charging me, who is he going to charge? Hmm? There's nothing there for me. I just moved in here. I just moved in here. They were bold enough to come and break my laptop, to take out my evidence from my laptop, destroy my laptop, and boldly tell me they're not responsible for my laptop. And you come in and threaten me about, I said to him, you know what? That money where you broke my laptop, use it to pay for that census when you want to charge me. Use that money to charge me. When you want to charge me, you can pay for that. You can pay for that charge yourself. Folks, I'm way past getting angry right now because the laptop thing is was done on the 16th. Pronto. 16th of July. It's a few days now. Today is the what 27, 28, 29? I can't even remember. However, however, I just want those that are watching me to be to see how vulnerable that children of God that move into units and apartments and houses in Toronto and folks. I don't have any doubt that the same issue happens all over the world. Wherever they have Muslims and Egyptians and the, 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 the Asians. I don't have a doubt because I've seen them at work. I've seen them in action. And they're calling and you know they think they're smart. They call in racism every second. And how Asians could call racism, I put that in my book and I'm going to say it. How they can come and, and in, in Canada and call racism. They have scooped up all the, all the, they have scooped up all the white men. They have scooped up all the black men. They have scooped, you know, they have scooped up all the Asians. They scooped up everything they can get. Even the dogs. 
So how, where is the racism? Even the dogs, if you see them, they are the first that started that kuchi kuchi dog stuff. And everybody else follow suit. So let me tell you that. When the problem, biblical, historical problem started with Egyptians, it was not only Egyptians, because all the, all the Asians, it's a tradition, it's a habit, it's a cultural stuff. And they have had, and Canada has everybody melting in the melting pot of wickedness. Even I was in, in the melting in the melting pot of wickedness, not knowing. Okay? I worked in the melting pot of wickedness, not knowing. And it make you think it's acceptable. They tell you, it's okay. It's okay not to do this. It's okay. Everything the Bible is, the Bible warns you about. The system tell you it's okay. And we accept it because we think it's okay because we are so damn ignorant. Excuse my language now. You <laughs> see? Because we are so ignorant. We don't know. And I see so many, so many young women that have um, YouTube channels. They're in everything. All of them have some sort of sickness or some sort of illness because they are into everything with not knowing and they talk about God. They have one foot in the sand and one foot in the water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Folks, I'm not going to make fun of it. I'm not going to because I had one foot in the sand and one foot in the water at some point. Okay. And I still love you. God still love you. If God can call me and pull me out of the water and the sand, stuck, one foot stuck in the sand, one foot stuck in the water. If God can pull me out, who are you for him not to call you out? And when he call you out, he call you out with a bang. Jesus is so good. Jesus will call you out with a bang. And when Jesus will make Hey, of you, let me tell you that. You see, when you see you looking tiny, Jesus will make a giant of you. And when you see all those giants that have eaten you up like ants, well, you see, those giants will not be able to even open their mouth on you. That is what, how Jesus works. When those giants come to see the ant, they see the ant, they're going to run away, take another route. As Jesus said, they'll come one way and he'll scatter them seven different directions. Hey, folks. Hey. Hallelujah. Anyway, <laughs> I think this video is long enough. I hope my phone will not have any space anymore. But I say again, Jesus loves you and I love you and God bless you and take care and don't forget Jesus. He loves you. And he's calling you forth. So don't. Don't deny him. Don't. Um, say when you hear his voice. Do not harden your heart. As you did in the day of Mary. By drinking bitter waters. <laughs> you don't want to drink bitter waters. Do you? <laughs> so you better drink sweet sweet Jesus. And sweet sweet water from Jesus water from the side of Christ is sweet I taste it already <laughs> hey folks okay let me see <laughs> I'll say good night one more time <laughs> one more time have a good night God bless you amen I'm already on my bed okay I'm lying on my bed and um, the episode about the census is over.
So right now I'm trying to think right now I'm trying to have a little piece of mind, a little piece of heart. I'm trying to be um how they call it? I'm trying to be and where's the wood? Uh, uh, Jesus used the word. Jesus said cordial. So I will use cordial. I haven't used cordial because cordial I used to write letters when I was, that was a uh, donkey years ago. <laughs> I used the word cordial. But it's a beautiful word and Jesus used cordial. So I will try to be, I was trying to be cordial, but I'm not cordial enough for them. So they have to find a way to harass me. And folks, when they cannot use the came, they disrupted my life with my laptop. They robbed me of my laptop. They destroyed it. That's not enough. <laughs> they are coming. When they robbed me of my laptop, you don't even, nobody will imagine how pissed off I've been for the past few days about my laptop when he came a few days ago two days ago about the 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 the, the census he raised up a storm within me and it was not a pleasant storm it was a very stormy storm that's not enough i just come from the shower and every time he comes he seems to be watching maybe when i'm naked because they always watch you they watch you in the in, in they watch you in the in the walls he comes when I'm in my panty knocking my door, expecting me to open my door. <laughs> this is too funny. Expecting me to open my door for him. Where? In my underwear? Huh? And am I supposed to put my clothes on for him? Huh? Because he wants me to open the door for him? Who is he? But, folks, the census. It's not the piece of paper he wants that much, you know. He wants my handwriting. He wants, uh, uh, he wants to open a door. And because the doors they have been fighting to open and open wide enough for them yet, he wants my handwriting. Let me tell you, I tell that boy on that census. And all his, whatever that sent that census, to, that survey for him. Tell them I see. Rob Ford says, Rob Ford wants a census. The government wants a census. However, during the COVID-19, the government said they sent money to dead people, families, by mistake. If you are taking a census every year, because I want that recorded. If you are taking a census every year and you want to even threaten people for a census and yet still you telling me you send money out by mistake to family members that are dead and they will not ask them for the money back because they're trying to hold back let me tell you that the, 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 the government system is so screwed up right now the canadian government system is so dark right now the canadian government system is born of death and if you want to read about it, I just put out a book about the economy, the Canadian economy. And I'll give you my name already over and over, Alexandra Sonson. Now, if he says that he wants the census, yet still he's telling me he's going to charge me. He doesn't have a census. Hmm? He does not have a census. He does not have... A name to put. <laughs> and that's, it doesn't have a name to put to the face. All of them are hiding their faces there on the mask. I see them, but I see only their eyes. But the, believe me, even though I see their eyes, I can see them from afar. They're all popping up with masks in their eyes. Because of the darkness that is taking place. Everybody is shielding themselves, hiding. Because this country is dark. This country is deaf. This country is hell in itself. And I've been in this country 35 years or 34 years and I've never seen so much death and so much darkness I've ever seen. And I lived in it and I didn't even realize it was taking place. 
I witnessed witchcraft taking place in the schools and didn't even know it was witchcraft. Even the curriculum has witchcraft in it. Now tell me, what does the government want with me or for me? Tell the government. All the time I have worked in that school, in all schools, back and forth, back and forth. In all the schools in Toronto I have been. Even winter time, I even cried on the street because I'm walking, I don't, I'm getting lost. Because I'm going to different schools. Eight years. Now tell the sense, tell that government and his censors. Don't even come and censor me right now. Because my senses are getting very combobulated and angry. Now, Lord. Now, folks. Oh, yeah, because I'm starting to get angry for you. So, tell that government and his censors. That mistake. <laughs> he sent the money by mistake for dead people. Tell him I'm still here. I'm not dead. For all my dead people he has killed. Send the money to me so that I can distribute it to my family members. And this is going on Facebook. This is going on my website. This is going on YouTube. Tell that government and his censors. I say, all my family members he has killed. And even those, the Canadians, the white Canadians that were associated with me that he killed. I want that money so that I can send it to the families. I will find them wherever they are and send the money to my family. Tell them I say, don't play games with me now. Me ain't playing no more. I've played long enough. You hear me tell you that? The government fought. Hey, I'm talking about that government and I'm laughing because I'm angry. That government thought they would banish me from left to right and right to left and back and forth and up and back and below and be wherever. They fought to banish me because they don't want the truth to come out. But tell the government I say that truth is everywhere. It's everywhere and it's going to come out. They brought about the, 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 the COVID because they did, not, they did not want the truth to come out. And they tell you COVID. And when you see the COVID, they tell you COVID. COVID is not COVID at all. I tell you, COVID is the opening of doors of hell. And if you see where everywhere you go, they say COVID. One door is open, one door is shut. They make it when the door that's open for you to walk into the doors of hell and they shut the other door so that you can, they can trap you in. In COVID. In the wicked. Take gas. That's what it is. A take gas. And they send it the take gas. Behind. They send the take gas. Everywhere. The take gas is rampant. And tell them I say. Don't play games with Jesus. Because Jesus ain't playing games. And as I'm lying down here on that floor. This is the last of me I'll give you. My episode right now. And I will say thank you for listening. 10 minutes of. 10 minutes of governmental. <laughs> of mental mentality. Okay. Oh, the, the government is all messed up. They're all messed up. They're all mental. And folks, I've seen too much. I've seen too much, especially last summer, when they were fighting to kill my niece right in front of me. They fought to kill my niece right in front of me. And folks, you don't understand the bitterness I had. And overcome, have overcome it by the blood of the Lamb. And have overcome it to speak about it. So tell these people I say, all of them that is listening right now, all of them that is hearing that video, folks, I'm giving you a video lying down. 
But tell all of them, ah, see, I've had enough of them. I've had enough of their games. And I'm playing no more games. Hmm? Everywhere I go, they follow. And they even, and I tell them, even when they do it in silence, I know. When they reach and release their stench, I know. Because this nose is better to smell them with. <laughs> and this mouth is better to speak. And these eyes is better to see them with. So I see them. And these ears uh, is better to hear them with. I hear them from afar. And they're going toko 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 to up and down, up and down, marching back and forth. I hear them. So tell them I say. Just let the children of God go. And let me go. Because the more they hold, the more they the more information they they give me, the more Jesus is giving me. <laughs> the more information Jesus is giving me to release for his children. And it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Sometimes the pain is the pain. The pain is painful. It is painful to know the truth and to see the truth. And folks, when in the beginning, when the Lord called me in the beginning, you will not imagine the time, the amount of of wailing I have done. But I've gotten strong in it. Very strong. Yes, very strong, very sharp. So, folks, take care. God bless you. It's 12 minutes, okay? 12 minutes. That's enough. Have a good night. And God bless you. God loves you. Amen.